Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today, and I'm bringing you what could potentially be the final game that I need to play before I get to the Diamond tier in the league in Arena Clash of Champions. So I'm going to be doing a ranked game, and it's going to be on the Mount Whitney map, so I'm going to play league, and hopefully, hopefully I actually manage to win this game, and that should get me up the... I, I could be wrong, it should get me up more than 11 ranks, but that's all I need to... Um, to get to the next tier. So I am just going to stick with the loadout I used in my previous video because that did serve me well. However, I am genuinely considering swapping out. Yeah, okay, I'm going to swap out that one for Shockwave because Shockwave is actually useful even if there aren't any damaging tiles. I am considering Exodus 2, but um, should I? Yeah, in fact, I'm going to use Exodus. Seeing as this is an important game and there's a lot at stake, I'm going to use one of my Exodus shells. They are rare, they're hard to get hold of, and Dime Box. I've fought this guy before. Another this guy provided a very challenging game from what I remember. And is he and is he the one using the packer? Is he fighters. no, he's using the bombshell, which means it is an even matchup with 14 health on each ship. So this guy is gonna be familiar with my strategy, which means it should be even more interesting. I'm not sure if he's gonna remember who I am. I certainly wasn't recording the last game I did with him, but I do remember his name. I remember how he played, and he was a good player. He is going to be running with shockwave shells, as far as I know, and he also has a ether discharge. That will, that's what he was packing last time. He's put the corporal on that side, which is good because it means I can um, I can move in Aurora here, then Lady do my old Aurora. Harlequin. This is pretty much exactly the same strategy I was playing last game, or in the last video I recorded. But I might be able to. Yeah, based on my opponent, it's going to turn out very differently. So I'm still going to do the old Bloody Mary or a Harlequin strat, but as I said, I'm running with Shockwave shells. No, I'm not actually. I'm running with Exeter shells this time. But as I said, the opponent, I can't. I remember he did. No, this is the guy that got me down to three HP, and it was a. It was an extremely close game. It was an extremely close game. Now he, ooh, yeah. I can't do my... I can't get a shot on my ship because he has knockback. I can't move him in because then Bloody Mary's dead. Don't rush me, my friend. Okay, I'm just going to move in Bloody Mary back here. Make sure he can't get that energy shell and then I'm going to end my turn right there. I think that's one of the first ever times I've had to end a turn straight away without being able to... Um, without being able to utilise my first move. If you dash in and attack Bloody Mary, that's a very big mistake, so I hope you don't do that. Please don't do that. Yeah, he, he knows the problem here too. Which is why he's not... He's having to think about his move. He's going to have to waste his turn too. He can't attack, otherwise he's putting himself in too much danger. In fact, he physically can't attack without using that energy. So yeah, he's moving back. Which means I can get the tactical positioning and get the first hit on him. Yes, I'm going to be doing that. So there we go. That means I will get a hit from Martel next turn, but that means I can move in good old Hall. In fact, no, I can just... Yeah, you're going to attack Lady Aurora, then I can move in Lady Aurora there to get the heal. Or I can finish off... Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. But, I know certainly what I'm going to do this turn is... Soak up the energy, possibly? Yeah, I'm going to soak up the energy. And then, just... Oh, I can't actually dive towards Crank, never mind. I'll soak up the energy, and then get some ship energy too. So I'm playing very conservatively. As I said, this game is going to be much more defensive, not as fast-paced as the previous games I have recorded. Because I know my opponent, I know it's a risk. And this, I genuinely think there's possibility of me losing it. Because my tactic against this guy who knows what he's doing, I, I don't know, I'm just not feeling as confident as I usually am. Hmm. I can, yeah, I can, I can move in Bloody Mary and actually take shots on the ship. So that is what I'm going to do. And there we go, I have drawn first blood on the ship, and that gets me some more energy. It does give him ship energy, but I'm not too worried about his shells right now. I'm making sure I'm in no position to be knocked back off. And you are going to use knockback on Aurora, then you're going to attack Bloody Mary, I guess? But that means I can kill you next turn. Hmm. I'm trying to predict the opponent's movements way too much as opposed to actually analysing what he's doing, but yep, he's attacking Bloody Mary. Which means, my friend, you are dead. And he's going to probably take up the heal next turn. Nope, he's going to move in and finish off Bloody Mary with a power attack, as far as I'm aware. But that still puts me in the advantage, because I can do... 
yeah, now I now I can rush the way to ship. I can. Ooh, should I rush? Yep, I'm gonna rush with the ship. And then this is gonna force him to retreat. And that means, even though he's in a fairly good position right now, he's gonna have to forfeit that in order to stop me. Because Harlequin, right next to your ship, that's six damage every turn. And there's definitely no way he can kill Harlequin by my next turn. So, as I said, the fact he's made this mistake means. He, yep, he's retreating back. That's an entire turn wasted to stopping me next turn. But again, next turn I'm still getting six damage no matter what. Oh, this is why I love this tactic so much. It just works out every time. Because there's so many different ways you can play it. Right, he's having a shockwave, so I can't be Bloody Mary there. But I can. Um, you know what? I'm going to pull in the Corporal. Because then I can utilize knockback to try and push someone off if he gets out of position too much. He will probably spawn in a Lady Aurora, that's my guess. It has to be someone with high health, otherwise Harlequin can kill it next turn. If he doesn't have, if he only has like Baron Rouge and the car, oh, move him forward. Okay, good. If you didn't move him forward, that would have been a huge mistake. Okay, so now I'm going to take this heal spot. And then, that was a mistake. That was a mistake, I should have used this before moving. But still, there is some easy damage on the ship. Yeah, that's using my energy, but I don't care. This guy is dead very soon. Unless he gets his shit together. Martel can't go back and help because he's blocked it off with a corporal. Oh, this game is turning out great. I love this. The opponent's good, but I'm better. Uh, I, I sound like such a fucking... I sound so cocky when playing this game, but that's how it makes me feel. That's one of the reasons I love it so much. Also... Uh, right... I could... wait, it's his turn next. I was going to say, I could attack, and then I could finish off Crank, but I'm not. I'm just going to attack the ship. Screw it, I'm definitely going to play this way, because that's two more damage on the ship now to kill it. Which means if I kill an enemy champ, I can, I can finish him, I can use Exodus, and that's an easy win. There's nothing he can do, he's going to use Knockback, but that'll damage your... No, was he... Okay, Scorching, that was a sensible thing to do right there. But again, you're not winning this one. I... Should I extend the game, or should I just use Exodus and put him out of his misery? I... Eh... I, I, I want to extend this game a bit more, I mean this is going to be a big game. And I want to make use of it, I want to have fun, I want to make this a good video, I want to make it close, I'm not just going to be cheap and use Exodus to finish it. That's worse than using Aoife Discharge, because it's only 2 damage. But, um, Lady Aurora can... Oh, why would you... Okay, you know what, I'm... That was such. That was too much of a stupid mistake not to capitalise on it. Why would you do that? I. Oh, that was so anticlimactic. But I saved an extra shell, so there we go. There's 10 LP. Which let's see. Will it move me up? Will it move me up a league? Will I finally be in diamond? Seven minute game and 11. I'm first. I'm first in platinum league, but I'm not in diamond. Not yet. Oh my god. Well, I'm. Fuck it. I just want to get my... Why won't I show up? I want to see my name on the Platinum list at first. And then I'm going to do another game. And move into Diamond League. If I win it, of course. But, you know what? What's that? There we go. That is such a satisfying feeling. Oh my god. Right, well, let's do it. Let's jump into League and jump into the next game. Oh, we're up against Dimebox again. So to be honest, seeing as this is my third time against him, he should be able to prevent me doing what I've done the previous two times. So, this is something I always say, with every loss in any game, or loss in anything, never ever means you're worse off than you were before, because loss means you can... What's that? Am I moving her there or there? I'm moving her there. <laughs> loss in a game Bloody means you can learn Mary. from your mistakes, and it means next time you'll be stronger. Winning a game does nothing for you, besides boost your ego, and mean you play more cocky and you make more mistakes. Whereas the other people learn from their mistakes and they play better. They don't make more, they make less. So... You're going to do exactly the same thing? Okay, well, Lady Aurora it is. Um, Aurora. I would like to try something different, but this is my tried and tested tactic. And this is, again, there's a lot of mistakes. I want to get into Diamond League so badly. Ooh, uh, so, Harlequin. there's Harlequin over there. Mm, are you going to try and stop my Harlequin rush? But then I can just prevent that, because if I do this, then if you t Ooh, attack Harlequin. me with Harlequin, I can attack you right back and kill you. So that Harlequin is useless right now. What I might do is shift all... Nah. 
Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to do that. So I'm going to shift my focus okay. over here and just kill off the corporal. So, da -da -da. I, I made the same mistake as before. Why did I do that? You see, that's what I mean by... I, I realised I can't do anything this turn. I'm going to have to waste it. So, you know what? I just might soak up the... Yeah, I'm going to soak up the human energy. And Feel then... The force. And then... You know what? I feel like doing something different. So I'm going to attack the Corporal. That's only going to be one damage, but the Corporal's not going to attack her next turn. And please don't get another three damage. That's a two damage, which means she's still alive and I can finish him off. So again, I'm trying to change my tactics here simply so that I don't, um, I don't do the same thing and then he knows how to counter it. I'm going to try and do a few moves that throw him off course and confuse him. And that way... He won't be able to beat me. Is he really gonna... Really... You're sacrificing your... Okay, good. You just... Go That's pretty much what I did, so I respect that turn. Um, but then... I'm gonna simply gather up energy again. I think that's pretty much exactly what I did last turn. But again, it's free energy, so why not? Then Martel can't really do anything. Except gather one ship energy. So, yeah. Corporal's dead next turn. I can shoot... Corporal wants for Bloody Mary, then shoot the ship. So I'm actually really glad I did that. Um, should I? Yeah, you know what, go for it. If he finishes off Bloody Mary with Martel, then that's just a waste of Martel move, because that's more damage than it needs to be. Or I could... No, I didn't... Oh, I meant to click the grenade. I was going to say I was going to throw a grenade there and do two damage to Martel and Harlequin. But I um, misclicked. I accidentally clicked on the ship instead of the grenade. But what I could do is... Oh, should I? Should I play really aggressively? Should I? Shouldn't I? I... I'm... You know, I'm feeling it. You can now e attack Lady Aurora twice or finish off Bloody Mary. Take your pick, Martel. But otherwise, I'm just going straight for your ship. I'm going to punish you so much for trying to fight my champions instead of my ship. Because if you ran to my ship right now, I would have to defend. That's a simple fact. But nope. You're fighting fire with fucking oil. You're just making it easier for me to do what I'm trying to do. It's pretty stupid, to be honest. But, there you go, you're moving in. Uh, I really think this guy's playing the wrong way. Uh, um, how should I do this? I can move Hol Yeah, I'm just going to gab up Holoquin so I can go for the instant kill. Feel move the you there, force. then move you back there, then the next time you'll be able to one-shot Martel. At the cost of absolutely nothing way. besides your own life. But again, that won't cost my ship any health. So, you're going to move in, and you're going to finish off Bloody Mary. Okay, I respect that. That was a good turn. But, <laughs> I just noticed what I can do my next turn. That's even better. Um, I'm going to play another rush tactic on the other side. So, I'm going to move in the Corporal here. And, yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing. I've planned out, like, all my next moves right now. You are either going to move the Corporal to attack those two, which would be a terrible mistake, or you're going to move Corporal there to attack Lady Aurora. Which is what I'm expecting. Are you going to do it? Yeah, you're going to attack. Okay, of course. But I don't care. I'm sacrificing her for 4 damage on the enemy ship and 4 damage to Harlequin. I, I'm just, again, constantly attacking your ship every turn so you can't really do shit. And you're focusing all your efforts on her, which means Harlequin and Corporal can just run on straight on over to your ship and fuck it up. Oh, this is too entertaining for my... I, I'm having too much fun here. But yep, I can now go and finish off Martel by doing my ultimate move on Martel. It might be another two damage to your ship. Then I've got Exeter, so I can do two damage. And I can just run the Corporal up and do even more damage. And I, I can use Scorching to finish off your Harlequin for another two damage. There's so many things I can do to you right now. Oh my god, this is great. I love it. Okay, Martel's moved in. Good move. That means I can't do what I was planning. Um... But Scorching on you. Let's get rid of Harlequin so he can't do his insta-kill. And then let's get myself some more ship energy so I can afford Nexus if I need to. I'm just planning on burying this opponent so badly. Because if I can win a Platinum game with 10-1, or 10-0 even, what it's going to be in the next turn, then I'm fairly sure I'm going to be fairly competent in Diamond, or even the Ether Masters. So I'm looking forward to it. You're going to leap towards Corporal and then attack. No, in fact, you can't attack. This is a bug that's come in recently where you can't see the en enemy champions. I thought he was Harlequin, but he's not. So, 
I, I could just finish it off with a Bloody Mary. That's how serious this is right now. But you have spawned an enemy champion, and so do I. Then it's Martel. Martel, who can finish off Corporal next turn, so I've lost Corporal. But then, then I have... Then he has Corporal. Then he can push off Bloody Mary. So I need to make sure he can't push off Bloody Mary by moving someone into Protector. So I'm moving in Lady Aurora here. That's the best move. Lady this is Aurora. what's happened. I've, I've been playing recklessly, so I am actually making myself prone to a lot of mistakes. I do have the momentum, though, which means they're not going to set me back too much. You're going to move in Martel, finish off Corporal, and then... This ship's got ether to waste. Then I have to, I'm going to spawn in someone to protect the ship, just in case. I don't want to fall victim to my own tactic. So, yeah, I'm moving in Martel there, so he can't be knocked back offside. Okay, then next time, you can't do anything with Corporal. No, you can still push Bloody Mary off. If he does this, I'm going to be really happy. Yeah, you're going to push Bloody Mary off. But, you know what, that's not why I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happy, because now I can run straight up to your ship with Lady Aurora and fuck it up. I don't even need to use my Exodus to win this. Okay, so... Yep, I'll just move in someone to protect the ship, someone tanky, so I'll move you... You have 7 health, you can soak up anything. Move you there, and then next turn, when I'm Lady Aurora, I can win. Because Harlequin, he can't do shit. He can run on over, you can try and stop Lady Aurora. Are you going to block it? Please tell me you block it. Please tell me you block the path to your ship. Do it. Come on, be a good player. Oh, he did! Oh my god! Well, too bad. Too bad I'm ending the game anyway. I wanted my 10-0 victory, but I got really cocky there, and you saw what happened. That's my access, and I'm in diamond tier, everybody. I finally made it. 24 LP from that battle, which means I'm actually going to be... I'm not going to be bottom tier, diamond tier. Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. That was an 8-minute game. That was quite good. I liked that game. But now, I'm finally in diamond tier. I'm with, like, 100 of the best arena players. Or, well, there's Eva Masters, but... We'll see. We'll see if I can aim for Eve Masters. It depends how much you guys enjoy these videos. I'll definitely be aiming for it off camera, but if you want to see more videos of me trying to do it on camera, then do let me know. This has been me, Evans with Z111. Please rating if you enjoyed the video. And this is me out. Peace.